Getting vaccinated against COVID-19 has been a struggle for many Pennsylvanians because of the short supply of doses. Today, though, dozens of residents of St. Thomas Moore Manor in Bethel Park got their first dose. And for some, as Dr. Maria Simber reports, it was an emotional day. Emotions are high at St. Thomas More Manor. Elated, relieved. And they were crying and they were dancing. They were, they were just so elated and so excited about this. After immunizing its health care workers and people over 80 who'd been in the hospital in the past five years, St. Clair Hospital brought the Pfizer vaccine to this 100-unit independent living facility. We wanted to give it to people who may not be able to get on a computer or get access via transportation to get a vaccine. Of the 90 residents here, 80 are getting their vaccines, but it takes a lot of coordination. You need to know how many people you're going to immunize. We bring only the number that we need because we don't waste any vaccine at all. You have six hours uh, once it gets out and mixed. The registration and paperwork take more time than giving the shot. Six hospital staff and employees at St. Thomas More Manor are helping with this. These people are very organized. And I feel sorry for people that don't want to get it. I hardly felt anything. It was much better than what I expected. Well, they're very grateful. Uh, bless you. <laughs> get a lot of that here. St. Clair Hospital staff will be back in three weeks to give the second dose. This will use up the 7,000 doses the hospital received. Right now, I would say we have enough. We could use a lot more. They've tried so many places. They were running to the telephone to call their families. We all sat there and cried because we were just so thrilled and overjoyed. St. Thomas More Manor has had no cases of coronavirus. The residents wear masks and stay in their own apartments. We have a lot of activities that go on here, and we have curtailed all of that since uh, March. Hopefully we can get on with the rest of our lives, what we have left. Even after everyone gets their second shot, Sister Cecilia wants to be cautious before resuming bingo and card night. I'm still probably going to require the masks and the social distancing. We'll try to do some things, but I'm not sure yet. We'll wait and make that determination at that time. A judgment call, depending on how the pandemic is going. I'm Dr. Maria Sembra, KDKA News.